Alex Mishnev. Um, here with me today, I have Tammy Abel and Gary Rachester helping me with a demo. And we are with the company called ThruPoint. Um, I'm gonna give you a little bit information about ThruPoint, not too much to bore you to death, but just a few statements so you can understand where we're coming from and what type of demonstration we'll be providing today. So ThruPoint was originally a heritage consulting company was formed in 1996 by the ex-CIO of Morgan Stanley. And for a number of years, we've been providing pretty much consulting services, body shops, however you want to call them, slave shops or whatnot. Um, basically, pay for project type of thing. Um, in 2010, we acquired uh, a company from Avaya called Ubiquity. Uh, Ubiquity is an old company. I remember when I was still working with SipWorld, uh, there was a, a number of companies working on SIP application servers, uh, SIP stacks, and, and, and so forth. And most of them got acquired, and so did Ubiquity. So we purchased uh, Ubiquity and uh, started to build uh, application infrastructure based on SIP servlets um, targeted for large financial institutions. Um, the, um, the, the, the SIP world is actually the technology itself progressed quite rapidly for us. Um, in, in about a year and a half, we started to look at WebRTC. Uh, knowing it was just a baby about a year and a half ago, we started slowly, and obviously just showed something very simple, right? You know, what is the simple application of WebRTC? Video to video call, peer to peer, right? You know, simple, right? Uh, well, with, with all the changes in, in WebRTC, it was not that simple because we were in the early days and Google has been changing Chromes like crazy and the API has been changing, so our developers are pretty much bold, right? They've been ripping hairs out of their heads a little bit at a time and, you know, I would say they have no hairs now. Um, so what we've done is we took WebRTC a little further than just a peer-to-peer -peer video call or just a video call in general, right? Because we had a, a legacy SIP environments, I can't believe I'm calling SIP a legacy, uh, but <laughs> a legacy SIP environments, we needed to provide the bridge between the WebRTC technology, which is a clientless architecture on the B2C type of the environment, into the SIP network. So what we build is a WebRTC solution that bridges the two. It allows you to create calls from WebRTC session and output the calls into the SIP environment or peer-to-peer -peer if you have clients registered as a WebRTC client. Not only did we do video calls, we also extended it to IAM and presence because not only the IAM and presence as we know them in legacy world, but also peer-to-peer -peer, uh, IAM and presence. We also interface to uh, link or COPS or any, any other XMPP-based um, IAM and presence services. Uh, so what we're show, going to show you today is a uh, demonstration uh, of three different devices. Basically, they're showing you the full power of the WebRTC, a clientless mode architecture, no matter which device you're using. So we're going to use the iPad device, we're going to use a Chrome browser on my Mac, and we're going to use a Chrome browser on a PC to demonstrate the flexibility. We're going to start with Temi holding the iPad, let me get out of the way or she's let me silly. Um, we're gonna show the, the WebRTC uh, sharing the application between peers. So Tammy is gonna start with this particular application, it's a simple banking application of figuring out the loans, right? Well, who doesn't know the loans? But uh, basically this is an application, you can be anything you want, it could be a portfolio, but as this is a demo, we decided just to mock up a pretty simple application. So she looks at her portfolio and she has a question, right? And nowadays the voice calls is a rarity, right? We start communicating more and more in IM and presence. So she notices that in her IM and body list, there are two people, you probably cannot see it, but you can see it more on my screen with little tick marks on the right hand side of the picture. And that's showing them the presence of the people online at the same time. So she sees her favorite financial advisor and she says, I'm gonna IM that financial advisor and ask him the question of what the heck is going on in my portfolio. So Gary here is gonna be the favorite financial advisor and the customer is gonna create a request. So Gary's message appears right over there on the screen. 
and Gary is going to respond and says, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I need to bring somebody else in to, to assist you. So what Gary is going to do is he's going to originate the WebRTC call to another person. And guess what? I am that person. So here comes the call. I apologize for loud rings and obnoxious, but here we are. I said answer. And the magic appears. And the magic. Oh, well, that's the beauty of the live demonstrations. They never work. Mr. Murphy, can you please stand up? Anyway, um, what should have happened is the live video should have been streaming between the two clients. And what we decided jointly is we says, hey, wait a minute, we need to look, take a look at the um, application itself. So um, within the application, we're going to switch to a joint look of sharing this particular application. And there it is on all of our screens. And uh, now we're going to make changes to it. And as you can see, Tammy is moving the screen, and it's changing both on my screen and on Gary's screen, right? So this is a demonstration of WebRTC, which is not what it was intended to, but we extended it to that by allowing us to sharing applications or streaming desktops or doing other activities that we think are web-centric activities that have nothing to do with SIP communications. Uh, uh, it's just a web-centric application that allows us to show all this um, uh, modalities, different modalities and communications. So now most likely you're going to hear all this legalese word of, you know, this is forward-looking statements, you know, we're not responsible, blah, 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 blah. I'm here to tell you this, that we are responsible. This is a, not a forward-looking statement, that even though the demo did not work, it actually works in real life. Uh, we have large financial groups that are, are looking at this particular demo and uh, uh, liking that what, what they see and actually importing that into their labs for demonstration purposes or small trials. Um, so the, the applications are, are not really products. What we are actually doing is we have an SDK that's built for the iOS and um, uh, JavaScript. And we're selling this uh, SDK to developers that allows them to build the applications for verticals that they think they can, uh, they have customers and, and, and they can create applications. We, we, we are not an application house. Um, we believe that you out there, the developers, have better knowledge of all the verticals out there. We're not gonna chase every vertical there is, but using the right tools, you can build applications and, and create uh, applications, and basically we all make money, right? You know, at the end of the day, this is not about how cool the demo looks, but making money, right? So um, the, um, the, uh, the, the, the SDK, as I mentioned before, allows the developers not only create a web-centric application, but also mash up the uh, application with the traditional SIP infrastructure. So we can actually make the call from a WebRTC client to a, a video asset, a Cisco video asset, or um, allowing you to have a transcoded video between VP8 and H.264 bidirectionally. So you can have a call centers where the agents still have video assets be sitting behind EX60 or X90 or 9971 and have the clientless architecture that allows you to um, uh, basically establish the communication. And, and, and finally, the, um, just wanted you to show, well, um, there is a, a program that we call in Juice where we invite all of the developers to participate and go to our site, look at the documentation, download the SDK, try it, and, and see how it works. Uh, well, thank you very much.